Yes, 10 days. 10 days. We fit all the makeup into this. Welcome back everyone. In today's video I'm excited to do because I'm going to be sharing what I packed in my travel makeup bag when I went to Ireland for 10 days. I think it might surprise some people at how little I packed, but um, I'm going to show you everything that I packed. So if you've missed it, I do have a couple of different vlogs up of my Ireland trip. This was actually my first group travel trip that I hosted. So I went with 12 women from the Sam Squad, is what I call our community here. Um, so we all met for, except for one, I had already met Joy a couple of times, but everyone else um, I met for the first time while we were there. Everyone else met each other for the first time that we were there. And we did have a group chat going on beforehand, and of course everyone was talking about what they were going to pack not only clothes and shoes and raincoats and all of the things you need for Ireland but also of course what makeup that we were packing. One had mentioned it would be fun one night for us to all go through our makeup bags and me being who I am and that I can't not film everything in my life I was like we should film it. We should we should film it for a YouTube video. So there is a two and a half hour long video on my YouTube channel of all 12 women going through their makeup bags what they packed for 10 days in Ireland. And listen, these women slayed. They gave you reviews. They were saying what worked and what didn't work for them. Like it truly just one of my favorite videos that I have ever put out. Um, not only because I got to see what was in their makeup bags, but it really was just like 13 women sitting around talking about makeup, talking about why we chose a certain product to bring, what we thought of the finish on that, why we like that eyeshadow palette. It just, the camaraderie, and the community that I feel like you can sense from that video is such a special one to me. So if you haven't seen it yet, I hope that you will watch it. It might take you a few times to, to watch the whole thing since like I said, it's it's two and a half hours long. You didn't, I didn't say that incorrectly. It's two and a half hours long. It took me two entire days to edit. I didn't do anything but edit this video. I was just at my desk for the whole two days editing that video. Um, but again, it's one of my favorites, but I did have some people comment to say, I didn't show what was in my makeup bag, and that is what I'm going to go through now. To me, that video, it, it wasn't about me. You know, all my videos are about me. Like, that was the video that I was handing it over to them and letting them do their own things and share in their own ways, and that's what that video was for. So I thought, I'll do a separate video on my own where I can sit down in my space and talk to you about everything that I brought. So I will link everything, of course. I did also just finish doing a try to get ready with me on this look here, so that should already be up. And I just kind of talk a little bit more about the Ireland trip in general, how it came to be, the tour company that I worked with, the different um, you know, things that we were able to experience and see, and also a little bit of my thoughts and feelings of doing some more traveling and group traveling in 2024. So to jump into my travel makeup bag, this is what I brought. This is what I brought for 10 days in Ireland. And not only does this contain all of my makeup, it also contained my makeup brushes in this bag. I, I will say I did also pack the little one. Okay, so I did pack the little one as well, but this is what I brought in my carry-on. This had like my powders, um, you know, that I didn't want to shatter or it had like, you know, my lip products, like things that I, that were going to be easily accessible to me. Um, and was just like at this one in my checked bag. So everything else was in my checked bag, which is a little bit nerve wracking. And then you're always thinking like, what if my bags get lost or something like that? So I did not have a lot of room in my backpack because I had my laptop, all of my cords, my Kindle, things like that. So I was able to fit this in there. I didn't have any like backup clothes. Like if anything were to happen to my luggage, like I didn't have no clothes as a spare, nothing. Um, but I did want to have like just a few things for makeup. So this is what I packed for my 10 days in Ireland. Okay, so let me go through it. I'll just go through the little bag first. Um, this has kind of changed, uh, you know, when I went, like again, like I had some powders in there. And then this was also what I took because we did a lot by bus. So um, we went to like five or six different cities in Ireland throughout the 10 days. So it wasn't like I was in one hotel room the whole time with like all of my makeup everywhere. We were constantly like packing and then going somewhere else. So I also brought this um, in my book bag with me as well on the bus. So it had anything, you know, like my powder puff that I wanted to be easily accessible, my lip products, things like that. I wanted to mention that, but of course brought my powder puff. A lot of the women had this powder puff as well from Amazon. Listen, I love these. If you haven't tried them yet, you should definitely have one. They're great. I brought like four with me to Ireland. They're just nice if you need like a quick touch up anywhere, anything. These are perfect. 
Um, this is what I used today, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch Powder. So this is one of the powders that I brought with me on the trip. I've really been loving this one. A lot of women, I tried to use the makeup in my Get Ready With Me of what I saw a lot in their makeup bags as well. Um, and again, I just got done filming, so I put a lot of that in there. The Fenty Beauty Foundation Stick. I had mentioned that I was going to travel with this one. Um, it's nice. It's not glass. Um, it's very easy to travel with. It's very blendable. Honestly, I ended up just doing concealer and powder the majority of the days. We were typically pretty rushed. We often didn't have a lot of time to get ready, so I was just doing concealer, blending it quickly, doing powder, and being on my way. But like for New Year's Eve, I wore my Fenty Foundation Stick. And then we had one day where we had like a photo shoot at the castle that we were staying in. Let that sink in. So I wore the Fenty foundation stick then too. The Natasha Denona concealer, there is a lot of that in the makeup bags um, and it's just one of my favorites again because it's so uh, blendable and very natural looking on the skin. It's what I have on today. So that's kind of what I was going for with makeup was what was going to be quick and easy. I'm someone that when I go on a vacation like I am not I don't know like I'm just I'm just there to vibe right like I'm just like if I'm going somewhere like with a beach like I don't want to wear makeup I want to be in the water I want to be a mermaid if I'm going somewhere like Ireland where we were doing like more adventurous traveling like I'm not even trying to wear makeup like we were out some days and it was raining on us I was like why am I like why am I wearing makeup I just I don't wear a lot of makeup when I go on vacation I don't often like do my hair I wash my hair one time in Ireland like I was wearing a beanie the whole time like I'm very chill on vacation, <laughs> just so everyone knows, and I feel like you could really see it from this vacay. Like, I'm very chill. I did bring my Charlotte Tilbury powder. Listen. This is my Project Pan video before I left, and a lot of you are telling me that it's gone, but like, look, there's still powder around the edges, and with the powder puff, like, I could still get the powder. So I brought the powder with me. I used the Benefit Fan Fest today. Uh, and then Dramamine. I had Dram I like Dr Dramamine was gonna be on my body at all times. I do struggle with motion sickness, and because I knew that I was going to be on a bus a lot, I was also on a plane for you know 12 hours. Um, so that was that was that was a lot. So I was really worried about getting sick because especially when I get motion sickness, like I'm down, like I am down for the count and it's really hard for me to bounce back from. So I was super paranoid of getting sick on the trip. So Dramamine had to be on my person at all times. Different brow pencils that I brought, the It Cosmetics Brow Power and also the Lawless Beauty Brow Pencil. The Lawless is one of my favorites. Um, the It Cosmetics I think is a great one as well. I brought my favorite eyeliners with me from Glossier the black and also the green. I have the green one on today, but these are my favorite eyeliners, so they definitely had to come with me. Um, I did pack a scent bird, uh, this one. I packed two of them, one's in here. This is fall cashmere, and that's by Skylar, but these are really handy to be able to travel with. I don't have to worry about anything breaking. Um, also, I have a handful of lip liners in here too. Lip products is definitely what I brought a lot of, but I have my itty bitty Natasha Denona, the My Dream in Natasha. I also brought from Anastasia Beverly Hills the Deep Taupe Lip Liner. Um, from Natasha Denona, I brought the Noah Lip Liner. And then from Charlotte Tilbury and what I'm wearing today, I brought Love Trap. This was like the star of the show for me. I wore this almost every single day. It's from Rare Beauty. I bought one shadow stick and this is in Contentment. And this is what I wore basically the entire time. It's just like a sparkly brown and it's beautiful. And I literally just put this all over my lid, tapped it out a little bit by my crease, put mascara on and I was good to go. Like, again, we were very rushed. A lot of times some of the women were doing makeup like on the bus. I was like, I'm trying to... Listen, I love quick and easy looks anyways, so these shadow sticks, whoo, whoo, they came in clutch for me. And moving over to the bigger bag, um, another powder that I brought, of course, was the Lawless Beauty powder. So yes, I brought three powders. I bought three powders on this trip, but I didn't want to not have any of them. They're my favorite powders. They're the ones that I wear all the time. So I had to wear those. Saw a lot of the Lawless Beauty powders. Um, I also brought from NARS, this is their Summer Unrated Blush and Bronzer Duo. So just a beautiful blush and bronzer here. And then at the very last minute, I was like, is that enough for me for blush and bronzer? Like, is that gonna be enough? I packed my makeup bag the morning before I left. I left at like 5.30 Vegas time. 
I packed my makeup bag that morning. Like I had a good idea of what I was bringing, but I was also filming videos up until the day before I left. Um, so I just felt like I needed all of my makeup, but I was like, I'm not bringing a single bronzer, a single blush. Like, is that really going to be enough for me? So at the very last minute I come into my office and I have a pile of makeup sitting here from my declutters and I plucked out from benefit the Hula Beach Vacay. And this also has a blush and bronzer. A reason why I grabbed it is definitely because it was small. When I tell you that like I was trying to zip my makeup, like my bag clothes, like I needed to be leaving. And I just was like, huh, I need one more blush bronzer. Grabbed this and was like, it's fine. And then it was so funny because I definitely got called out on the trip that it was like, didn't you declutter that? And I was like, yes, yes I did. But now I'm like, should I keep it? <laughs> should I should I bring it out of the declutter pile? I think I might actually have to do a makeup I regret decluttering video. Would you like to see that? Because if you watch this get ready with me and you know what's on my eyes right now. But I honestly, I ended up wearing this even more than the NARS. So there's that. I have the other one from Scentbird that I brought. I tried to do like a day and a night scent. This one is Confessions of a Rebel Get a Room and Order Champagne. So this was kind of like my night scent like I wore it on New Year's Eve. Um, I did bring the Lawless Beauty primer and I, I, I actually used it. I used it a couple of times. I don't use primer all of the time, but it was pretty, um, you know, it was cold in Ireland and it rained quite a bit. And then some days, because this is a more hydrating serum and it kind of feels a little bit more like skincare, there was times where I was like, I just need a little something, something, especially if I didn't do my makeup in the morning and I was just doing my makeup at night. Instead of using like a moisturizer, I went to the Lawless Beauty Primer and I really enjoyed that. Uh, I did bring my Sigma Switch with me. I love the Sigma Switches. If you don't have these, I recommend them so much. And they're not a product that I feel like gets talked about a lot because it's not an eyeshadow palette or a lipstick or a foundation. But this is such, like this is such a staple for me. So basically what you do, and it's great for traveling because you can, you know, use your eyeshadow and then be like, oh, but I only have one other blending brush. So then you just, you can just rub it on here. It gets the pigment off and then you can go in with your next shadow. It's not like cleaning them. You still have to like clean your brushes, which is a reminder to me. Clean your brushes, Samantha. I'm doing better. I am doing better at cleaning my brushes. I've done two different times now that I've cleaned a stack of my brushes. Look at that. But this is really nice. If Even if you're just doing your makeup at home and you don't want to get out a thousand brushes or you don't have a thousand brushes, or if you're traveling, like this is especially key. So I love this from Sigma. You can get it with my discount code, Samantha. Highly, highly recommend. I did bring another foundation. There was a few things that I was like, you just need to bring one. Like I was trying to be like Janelle and only bring one of each, but then there were some things that it was like, what if something happens or what if I forget it or what if I run out or what if I break it or what if I forget it? You know, we're moving around to all these different hotels. So I did also bring the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Again, it's plastic. It was gonna be easy to travel with, easy to go into my checked bag. I didn't wear it. Again, I either wore concealer or I wore the Fenty foundation stick, but it was there as a backup if I needed it. I did also bring the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. It's just, it's already back in my purse. Already back in my purse. I love the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and especially the amount of sugar that I consumed in Ireland. Like I, I was breaking out before I went to Ireland, which I definitely think was the stress. Like I was incredibly stressed before leaving. I had a lot of anxiety about it. You know, you're about to go to a different country with people that you don't know and you just like hope everyone gets along for 10 days. Otherwise, like that's really awkward. And obviously the pressures of like, if people don't have fun, like again, after meeting everyone, I know that they wouldn't do this, but in my mind, it's something that I'm always thinking about as a YouTuber is like someone trying to like cancel me or like say that I was like a terrible person and all these things. I was like, am I like literally setting myself up for failure <laughs> by doing this trip? So. Uh, I haven't been breaking out in a hot minute and then right before Ireland my skin was like <laughs> And then I ate a bunch of sugar and then my skin was like <laughs> so the NARS soft matte concealer definitely came in clutch um, Also my sharpener just make it by Mario. Listen, I said it in their makeup bag video a sharpener is my best friend I can't be without my sharpener. I travel with my sharpener I just I love eyeliners and lip liners too much to not have a sharpener again on my person So for my eyeshadow again, so I had the rare beauty shadow stick then I also brought these quads from Sigma beauty and That was my eyeshadow Okay, I love peach pie. This is a little bit more neutral that shimmer is so beautiful This is what I wore on New Year's and it really is because this shimmer is so 
so stunning i don't know if you can see that the best with my lights but it's beautiful so this is what i wore on new year's to match my um like shiny sequin sparkly top but then i also wanted to bring a green one as well so i brought caramel apple one of my last get ready with me's before i left i did like more of a holiday look and this is the palette that i use and it's stunning i love the green i love the shimmers in here so these were the two palettes that I brought. I love that they were small. These went in my checked bag. They didn't break. Everything was fine. Everything was good. So I was super happy about that. But I, again, I love the Sigma eyeshadow formula and they just seemed like very easy travel palettes to bring along. Um, another concealer. So I brought the NARS, I brought the Natasha Denona, and then I also brought the Tower 28. I've been really loving their concealer. Again, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Natasha Denona. It's very lightweight. It's very easy to blend out. That's what we were going for. I didn't want any makeup that was going to be like hard to use by any means. Um, for mascara, again, I brought the Fan Fest. I brought the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras at the moment, and it's just beautiful. It held up really nicely in all of the weather. Again, we were getting rained on. At one point, it was like nearly like hailing like sideways at us. I was like, oh my gosh, but I have to say, my makeup was holding up pretty well, even in all of those conditions, but I love the... <laughs> The Tarlet Tubing Mascara, and then I'm laughing because, <sighs> again, last minute, I'm panicking. I'm like, did I bring enough makeup? Oh my gosh. You know, like forgetting the fact that like there's makeup in Ireland. If I forgot something, I could buy something. Um, I panic. I come over to my desk. I'm looking at my pile, and I grab the Tower 28 Mascara. I've reviewed this mascara. I've said I don't understand the hype on it. I don't understand why it's viral. Like I've said, like it's fine. Like I don't think it's a bad mascara. It just, to me, it's like I just didn't get the hype on it. And I decided to wear it like the first like one or two days in Ireland because we weren't really like doing anything. We were going to be hiking a lot. And it was kind of one of those of like, I don't want to waste like my good mascara on a day where we're going to be like hiking in the rain. So I was wearing the Tower 28. It was pretty nice. It also held up very well in the rain and the cold and the wind. And I was like, okay. So I actually ended up wearing the Tower 28 mascara quite a bit during the trip. Is it still, is it one that I feel like I'm gonna repurchase? I don't know if I would necessarily need to repurchase this because I have my favorites, like the Rare Beauty, um, like the L'Oreal, again, the Tartlet Tubing, like those are all ones that I would repurchase. But I ended up liking this a little bit more than I thought that I was going to. And it was like a last minute grab of like, if I need a backup mascara. So that was a little bit, a little bit unexpected. Um, and then lastly, I think I just have a couple more lip products to go through. And that's everything. So I went through a few of my lips, a few of my lip liners. Honestly, the lipstick that I think I wore the most on the trip is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Very Victoria lipstick. I ended up, I'm definitely doing more glosses and lip oils right now. But I kept reaching for the Charlotte Tilbury and the matte because again, like when we were outside a lot and it was windy and like getting hair in my lips, like it just felt easier to have a matte lipstick where I wasn't going to worry about like my hair getting caught in the gloss and things like that. And then we did like the, the first night we were doing like a pub crawl and I was like, it's just going to be easier to have a matte lipstick if we're going to these different places with these different drinks. So I actually ended up wearing Very Victoria the most out of all of my lipsticks. So I wasn't doing the Charlotte Tilbury, my most worn lip combo at this moment. And I put it in a recent get ready with me and I have a little short of, of it too. It's actually a drugstore combo. Um, so from Hard candy it is the first move lip liner and then from catrice it's their i don't know if you can see this it's their marvelicious balm i can see a clear dent of how much i have been using this gloss and this is in don't be shaky this combo is just so beautiful and it makes my lips look full and juicy and the gloss isn't sticky and the lip liner lasts like I think this is my longest lasting, like affordable lip liner. Like Charlotte Tilbury is great. Natasha Denona is great. Mac is great. But this one from Hard Candy, like get your hands on it. Like this is a great combo. I cannot believe how much of this gloss I've used, but I can because I wear it all the time. It's like shiny without being like glittery or sparkly and it's stunning. So I had to bring that lip combo. Um, I also brought my MAC Whirl lip liner. It's just, I feel like my Whirl is just one of those that it always comes with me. Like, it's often in my purse. It's like a comfort, you know? 
I don't know. Like I've had mackerel for such a long time. I actually have, I think I have two because this should be smaller, but pretty sure I have two of the whirls and it's just a comfort makeup product for me. Um, I also brought from Ofra my collaboration uh, that I did with them in Millie. This is the sparkly pearly gloss. I was thinking kind of like New Year's vibes, you know what I mean? Um, with the sparkly pearly gloss, but I do love Millie. I brought the Fenty Beauty lip oil, one of my favorite lip oils. And this is another one that like I have used a lot out of this lip oil. This is a great lip oil. Again, it just, it makes the lips look so good. Something about some of these lip products, man, it just, your lips be looking good. And then I also brought one from Ravi Beauty and this is in Lily. So the Ally Glines new makeup brand. This is just one of those like easy, effortless, easy to swipe on type of lip products. So I wanted to have that. It's more of like a lip balm. So I wanted to have that as well for if I just wanted to like quickly put a lip on. And then I'm really excited because um, one of the girls there, Brittany, she bought a lip liner and she actually already had, she couldn't remember if she had the shade or not. So she just bought it and she was like, does anyone want it? And it's when we were filming and I literally stuck it down my shirt. I was like, me, um, I just, I love lip liners. But this is from Cash Beauty. So it's not a brand that you can get in the US. And this is the Vintage Rose Lip Liner. And I wore it um, the night of our farewell dinner. And it's beautiful. It's like a darker, like nude rose and stunning. And I'm so excited, like I'm so excited to have it. So, cause I didn't actually do any like makeup shopping um, when people did, that was usually the time that I was going back and trying to like, recharge my batteries um like for the next event that we were doing so i didn't buy any makeup while i was there i bought a ring i bought some earrings i bought this ireland shirt a t-shirt a puzzle bought some fridge magnets um but i didn't buy any actual makeup while i was there so i was super excited so thank you so much to Brittany for giving me that lip liner and that's everything that's what i brought for 10 days in ireland i don't think that was bad I was pretty impressed with myself and my packing skills overall. I I wore every single thing that I brought except for one shirt. I, I randomly, again, at last minute, I panicked. I was like, I don't know if I have tops. I threw in like a bodysuit that I was like, I can just wear it as like an undershirt type situation if need be. That was the only thing that I didn't wear. Um, I don't know if you'd like to see a video on like packing or I don't know, anything like that. Let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see from Ireland or like what I learned or tips or anything flying internationally, anything like that. I would be happy to make a video on it, but I was pretty impressed with myself. A lot of the makeup I did wear, there's just a couple of things. Like I said, like the wet and wild. I mean, most of the lip products I wore, the powders I wore, the mascaras, the eyeshadows, like I think I did a pretty good job packing. So I would love to know what you thought of my travel makeup bag. Any surprises out of it? Let me know. Everything will be linked and I'll see you in the next one.